Addis Sababa has played host of the last AGOA forum on African soil before the U.S. trade agreement expires in 2015. As expected, the forum was dominated by debate on the exports of the African commodities to the American market, with African states demanding more access to restricted sectors such as coffee exports. The key criticism, however, that is the trade law is not compatible with present-day Africa. The AGOA that was enacted in, in 2000, should it continue as is? Now, there's a lot of debate, should, there should be some modification, but in AGOA itself needs to adapt to the realities of a growing Africa, which is now in a position to take advantage of the intentions of AGOA. According to the UN Economic Commission for Africa, oil-related products account for 90% of the commodities exported to the United States market. Exporters want this to change. Like American government have signed this, have given this opportunity of AGOA, African Growth Opportunity Act. But growth cannot come while you simply export raw material. Therefore, we have to see for value-added export products and also have a large number of products. The AGOA Act is credited with creating millions of jobs on the continent through duty-free access to the U.S. On its part, the U.S. is pushing for Africa to reciprocate and offer more commercial access for American companies. The U.S., according to experts, needs to take lessons from how countries like China are operating in Africa. China is directly involved in the productive uh, activities of Africa, not just in the obvious one, which is infrastructure, but in, in the manufacturing sector or in the value-adding sector. So it's a slightly different model than the United States. I mean, maybe there are some lessons for the United States to learn from how China is engaging Africa. The extension of the African Growth and Opportunity Act is now in the hands of the United States Congress, which is expected to debate and pass the new law perhaps next year. The hope is that a revised version will be better tailored to a newly emerging and growing Africa. Grom Jala, CCTV, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.